Now then, this is a very short video. Two things. One, it's about hydrometers. And the other one, it's me testing other functions on this camera I've got. Um, there was a HD ver uh, option, but it was something like 1280 by 750. So it's super wide and not very high. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to try it. And this is the uh, the product of that, which is why there's a little black band at the top and the bottom. And I actually changed the video format when I was editing to 4x3 to sort of squeeze it like this. And you don't notice that much, but it's, um, it's not very uh, satisfying. But hopefully you might find the quality better. And if you don't, I would really be pleased if you tell me. Yeah. Anyway, let's crack on. Now then, a bit about hydrometers. Um, years ago, you'd get these small car spare shops. You know, every sort of town had one. And they'd always have hydrometers in there. And half decent ones. Anyway... So when I went to Brighton last time teaching solar, October I think it was, a few months after I got back, I was thinking, where's my hydrometer? And where's my gas blowtorch? And I thought, I haven't lost them, have I? Anyway, it suddenly came to me that, of course, they were in the bottom of one of the boxes that I'd taken to Brighton. So I w went and dug around, and there, right at the bottom, there they were. And the hydrometer was in a piece of plastic tube. And I picked it up and it slid out the plastic tube and the glass broke. I thought, that's typical. I've had that for more than 20 years. But of course, all these little um, local car repair type spares type places, virtually all of them have disappeared now. And the, 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 uh, the ones that do remain don't stock hydrometers anymore because nobody knows how to fix anything I'm not even interested so I've got that one but it's a bit fiddly to use you need your best glasses on and I thought do you know what I'm going to buy myself a uh, uh, a new hydrometer yeah I think a hydrometer once every 20 25 years is acceptable uh, of course I've got this one as well but the rubber has gone really hard and the seal round there has gone and I can't get that rubber off. Maybe if I warm it up in hot water I could get that off and put a seal round that. So what happens is when you use this one, not only has this rubber got a bit cracked but the electrolyte goes up and then just goes down again rather than staying up. So I bought a new one. And I tried my best to get one of a decent size. Because, as I say, this one here is a bit fiddly. I've had this out of its case already. And you think, you think, that's not right. But that goes around like that. And then this comes up like that. Yeah, and so that's about the right size. And as you can see, it's easy enough to use now. It's a uh, 01054 by a company that doesn't sponsor me. So there you go. So let's just go and try and use this one. Because the other thing with these is, just from time to time, you need to take them apart and wash the insides because they do get a bit gooey and gummy and then you can't read it properly and if you can't get the ends off without damaging it then you know it's a pointless exercise but I suspect putting that in can you see that just moves around you can't where are we see it's loose yeah but I know there's a an end on this glass there's a rolled bird end so that's going to have to be warmed up to get that off. Otherwise, as I say, you'll break the glass. 
So let's just go and use the new hydrometer. Right, let's give it a go. That needs to be raised up a bit more. Ah, that is about 1200. So those batteries, not bad for this time of the year because it's December, but um, we will have to pay attention to them. Yeah, we'll have to. I might have to uh, change the way we use power so some circuits may have to be on the mains for a few weeks until we get some sun again because we've just had loads of grey, drizzly, no sun and no wind and of course it reflects on that. So hopefully you found that interesting. I searched around to try and get a hydrometer of, the, of a half decent size and finally found one. Uh, it was £7 I think delivered which considering back 20 years ago they were like £5 I think that's uh, pretty good value relatively speaking. Anyway hopefully you enjoyed it. Catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.